We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Sean Manaya is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the A's. What's your take on him, Dan? The pride and joy of Andre in high school and Gary, Indiana. Sean Manaya, he had the no hitter against the Boston Red Sox, one of the tougher lefties. He reminds me a lot of Sid Fernandez. Low three quarter arm angle, mid to upper 90s fastball, good curveball, one of the top young left handed pitchers in all of baseball. Now a swing and a miss on the slider as the leadoff man is set down on strikes to open up the ball game. First pitch coming. Here it is. Alex Bregman comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Manaya is what you may call a stingy starting pitcher. He rarely gets hit around and on top of that he usually excels at limiting free passes. A great combination to have. Matty V, I think one of the keys to being a good starting pitcher, one, limiting the number of pitches that you throw into a game, and two, getting outs as quickly as you can. And there aren't too many guys that do it better than this guy. Not a lot of pitches. One of the things I like, he's in attack mode from the first pitch of every at-bat. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Well, it's been a rough series for him at the plate so far. That's four strikeouts in the first two games, so this pitching staff clearly has him figured out. Jose Altuve is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a ball line softly down the right field line. Foul. Here comes another 0-2. Another one sent foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Coming down in buckets, cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. Total agreement. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end. Two, three, go the Astros. And the A's will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Justin Verlander, a Virginia-born right-hander, gets the ball to start this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you always like to begin the season on a good note. In his first start of the year, he did just that, picking up the win. There's nothing he'd like to do more than to get number two in this one here. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Under it now is Brantley, and he has it for the first out. That is perfect. Chris Davis next to bat. His line against Justin Verlander comes in with six hits in 22 tries. Also of note, the four home runs he's hit against him. Back goes Reddick at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. That is her. The third baseman. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the power hitting third baseman, Matt Chapman. Grounder down the line at third. But this is foul for the first strike. Again, another foul ball. Here's Verlander now on 0 and 2. Got him swinging in the dirt. Maldonado has it. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. And inning in the books tonight. Start of the second inning here in Oakland. Let's check in with Heidi for more on the weather. Matt, I am hearing that heavier rain is expected to pass through the ballpark at some point later in the game. The umpiring crew would, of course, like to get this one in uninterrupted, but it is possible that we could be looking at some sort of a delay if they determine the weather is impacting the play on the field. All right, Heidi, thanks. We'll hope for the best, of course, but guys, you have to assume these players are probably going to be impacted by this weather at least a little. Yeah, Matty, 100% it's going to be bothersome. They're going to have to watch their spikes. They're going to have to maybe gather themselves to get that extra grip on the baseball. But from a position player standpoint, you just can't lose focus. Starting pitchers are the ones that are going to have the most problems with it. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. 
every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Yuli Gurriel is sent packing for route number two in the inning. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. Into the corner and slicing foul. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Last half of the second set to go, and next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Reggie Jackson. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Really tied him up on that one. Yikes, he kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, man. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. Hit in the air to left field. Brentley has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Standing in, Marcus Semyon. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And that misses for ball one. Verlander, 37 years old. This is his 16th season at the major league level, and obviously that alone reflects the incredible career he's put together. Yeah, Matty, to play 14 years in the big leagues without question, I can't tell you what this guy's seen. Add in the minor league stops, he's seen every corner of this nation right here. He's been on buses, he's been on charter planes. He's seen every part of what baseball has to offer. So a runner aboard at second here with one away. And striding into bat next, it will be Mark Canna. One ball, no strikes to count. That evens it up, one and one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Skied into straightaway right. Reddick has a read on it. Two down. Batting set. The first baseman. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Popped him up. Maldonado has a play. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One left for Oakland. We'll move to the third with no. And that'll bring up Oledmus Diaz. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get? Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. Gone to lead off the inning. Only the first hit of the night, but it was a big one. He absolutely punished that mistake. And you have to wonder if that will open the floodgates a little. Josh Reddick stands in as he looks at ball one here. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Strike taken up in the zone. Well, you don't need us to tell you it's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a pool. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. Fouled off. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already, and there's one gone in the inning. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. He might have been sitting on an off speed pitch, but instead, he gets the fastball way late had no chance to put that ball in play into the box now Martin Maldonado Owen won the count now the pitch and it's fouled away and he fouls this one off the 0 2 once more and he is in complete control now. Seven strikeouts as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Here's the first pitch to him. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job bouncing back from that home run 
to strike out the next two guys. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep, but it's all about how you respond that really matters. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. Ani pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. In there, a base hit. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. This is in the air to right. Jackson is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Astros off and running on the salt. Bottom of the inning now and striding toward the plate to hit next Tony Kemp. First pitch coming here it is. Hit hard towards center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So a good start to the inning for the A's as their leadoff hitter reaches base safely. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight, nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you could swing the bat. The 0-1. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. Brantley going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Up next for Oakland. So That's striding forward good. now, Ricky Henderson. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a pitch out. Nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Kemp, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Line to the right side, but that's a foul ball. Now Verlander will turn and go to first, and he'll dive back in. Here's the 1 1. Now here's a shot out to right center field. Kemp rounds the corner and is headed home safe at the plate we're all square and one apiece yeah it's always nice to get a run right back after you've given one up to the guys in the other dugout so he squares this thing up really well to drive in a run and ties us up at one here's Chris Davis now he swings and sends a bullet to right field and that'll get down for what should be extra bases the runner from second crosses the plate. It's now a two to one ball game. And he will pull into second with an now RBI that, double. The third baseman. Chapman. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman as he lifts it in the air to right field. Reddick in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. Now with the plate, Reggie Jackson. Both for one for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Brentley is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Leading off the second base. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that swung on and missed for strike one. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Striding in once again, Jordan Alvarez looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. No balls and a strike to count. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate. But he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Jordan Alvarez goes down for out number two in the top half. Yuli Gurriel will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. 
Still no balls and two strikes. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Guriel behind a ball and two strikes. One ball. Man, that's two one strikes. of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game in the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Marcus Simeon. He'll be the one to greet Justin Verlander to start the inning. Smoke toward third. A dive, and he knocks it down. And there is some stick to it of this as they still manage to get the out at first. But hold on here now. They quickly requested some time to take a look at the replay, and they may decide to challenge that out call. Yeah, definitely one of those bang bang plays. And looking at it right here again, I still don't know if I can tell for sure. Going to be interesting to see. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for that play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive answer on this play. Mark Canna is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's 1-0. Oh. Who pulled the string and had him way out. In front, a ball and a strike. One and one, here it comes. Oh, here's a shot out to right center. Simeon is on his way home. The relay throw, and he is in there with an RBI triple. Well, that didn't take long to get a run on the board this inning. Yeah, they made it look easy, didn't they? Lead off single puts the guy in the stretch, and then wham, the triple chases him home. 
That'll bring up the power hitter Matt Olson. Coming on is Brantley but he won't get there. It's a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. And it's a four to one game. Yeah Dan he's got to feel pretty good about that. Not only did he have a great A.B. first pitch hacking but he smoked that ball to mix in a ribby knock. Well he did. He must have had a pretty good plan of attack walking into that batter's box and he had an idea of the pitch that he was going to get and boy he sure turned it loose and buggy whipped that one. Austin. At the plate Austin Allen. No balls in one strike. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the belt, the pitch. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. Low roller, and he barehands it. A big league effort to snag that ball, but he can't get it out, and now the bases oh, are loaded. The designated hitter. Dan, after this infield hit right here, this guy has to be so frustrated. He's been having a rough outing, and he's not discriminating the way he gives him up. No, he is. You know what he's going to do after this one? He's going to go to the movies and watch the movie about himself, the Rocky Horror Pitching Show, because this has been a nightmare. Number two. Two away now in the Oakland fourth, and that'll bring up the big-time power bat of right-handed hitter Chris Davis. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. I'd like to see this lineup start working the count a little bit more and drive up this pitcher's pitch count. And here's a foul tip into the catcher's glove. Moves it to 0-2 now. Hey, I thought he was going to work around them right here in this situation. But after getting two swinging strikes, there's a change of game plan. I guarantee he's going right after him. The 1-2. High in the air out towards shallow right. Reddick coming on. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So they pick up three. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I discussed the Astros' offense with Houston's manager, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs, so the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. All right, Heidi, thank you. And he struck him out. And their strikeout number 11 in the ball game. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. Aledmus Diaz comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's a 1 0. Fouled away. It's a 5 1 game here in inning number five. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. First pitch of the at bat. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Behind 0 and 2 now. Liner toward right center. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. So now to the plate, Martin Maldonado. Strike one to start the at bat. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. One left for Houston. They're down here. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. The athletic. The third baseman. First delivery to him on the way. A great curveball there. Really fooled him with that one. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Back goes Springer to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The right fielder. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Reggie Jackson. First pitch on its way from Verlander. one. Bases are empty, one man out. Okay. 
That's lifted the other way out to left. Brantley is under it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batter. Stepping into the box, Marcus Semyon. He doubled Semien. earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. One, two, three. Here's Michael Brantley. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. One of the biggest factors on how long you're going to go to start is how many first pitch strikes you throw. 80% usually means you're going to have a pretty good day, and that's on the menu so far. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's now that ball's hit well. Deep down the left field line, headed toward the foul pole. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. First offering on its way. Fouled off. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. We're in the sixth inning now of a five to one ball game. Hit back up the middle. Reined in. Throw on to Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. Astros go down one, two, three. They're down five. Number 61, Rogelio Armentero. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now Canna smacks one to left. Lots of carry on this one. He takes the turn and heads for second. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he will get there as the A's have themselves a leadoff double. The first so stepping in, Matt Olson, A hit in two tries for him so far. Sometimes when a reliever comes in the game, he wants to get that first strike so bad that he serves one up. And that's exactly what happens here. The first battery faces just rockets one off the wall. And now he's got to worry about another base hit potentially bringing home a run. In now, Tony Kemp. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Digging in, Austin Allen. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Here comes the first pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Brantley is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So it's no runs. Raleigh Fingers comes on to pitch from bullpen now in an unexpected move. He's their closer, so it's a surprise to see him here in the seventh. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Jordan Alvarez is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Looked like that one tied him up a bit, a swing and a miss. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off-speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Got him to go down swinging there. Jordan Alvarez is down for the first out in the seventh inning. And it's fouled away. One run on three hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And he fouls this one off. And a sinker dips oh. too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The one-two. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. A little low. It's two and two. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something on. 
So he notched the backwards K on that one. Yuli Guriel goes down for out number two in the top half. George Springer is next as he finds himself behind 0 and 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. One ball, one strike. A ball and two strikes. Yeah, Matt, you see the same pitch three times in a row and you find yourself down one and two. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire. Ready to go for the last half of the yeah, inning. Okay. And digging in is the veteran DH, Ricky Henderson. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. Great job by the pitcher right there to pull the string. He knew he had an aggressive hitter at the plate, somebody who was sitting on fastball and ready to do damage. And he was able to slow him down right there and get him off balance. Throw, got him, and that's a gorgeous play. Now that is. Digging in once again, Chris Davis. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Softly hit out to short, and that'll be the second out. Now batting. Digging in, Matt Chapman. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here comes the first pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hard hit ball to second. There is Altuve. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. A's are. Aledmus Diaz will stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ballgame. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. Josh Reddick is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. The wind up and the 0 1. 5 1 our score as we play the eighth. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. Reddick behind the ball and two strikes. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed that's coming across the plate. You might think he got a shot to stay inside that one. To two balls and two strikes now. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. The 2 2 one more time. Fouled away. One run on three hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Down the third baseline. No. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run okay. things full three and two. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Striding in for Houston, Martin Maldonado. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings, and this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now. But for a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. One, two, three, go the. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Reggie Jackson. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. Reggie Jackson. Lifted down the line in left. Long run for the left fielder, and no one will track it down. This is flared out towards second, and this will be put away easily for the out. The batter number 10. Digging in, Marcus Simeon. 
Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. Swing and a liner. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. Around first, he's digging for second. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Up next for Oakland. Yeah, I think he was sitting on the fastball, so he got the changeup. He was way out in front of it, but he kept his hands back long enough to keep it fair down the line. That's not always easy to do. Maldonado, moving to his left, makes the play, and there are two gone now. The batter. Ready for another shot now. Matt Olson is working on a one for three thus far. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. This is pulled into right. And a fair ball as this one gets to the wall. He's in at second safely as a run will score on the play as well. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance and he doesn't try to do too much right here he just takes what's there well the play's been made and that retires the side and here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley and to start out the inning it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there Dan they have Matt I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that but it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. All over the place to start the ninth. It's 3-0 and now. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. And the count will be full. To short. throw that time but no problem over there at first as they record the out. First pitch of the end bat on its way. Alex Bregman is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1 and 0. Hey this is a real pesky hitter right here as a pitcher you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Swing and a miss on the sinker and it's 1 and 2. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. One out, nobody on. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Stepping in, Jose Altuve. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Owen won the count. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. You can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row. And this looks like a train that's not about to slow down.